All right, let's take a look at those trinkets. Eight from Time Revender, five from the Mega Dungeon. So let's see what they're all about. I haven't checked these yet, so it's gonna be very interesting. The reason why I think it's gonna be interesting is because the Time Rift Vendor trinkets are really cool. Of course, they can tweak the numbers and stuff like that so it doesn't come too, too OP, but what it does, it's fun. It's fun trinkets, it's fun stuff is happening. And if it comes down to how good will they be in the end when they pick all the numbers. So let's let's see what these will do. Accelerating sand glass. Did it say already now what bosses can drop from? No. I see already now that it might change based on what class and spec you are. There is one trinket in the time rift vendor that changes. If you're ranged or melee, it changes. So it might do that on this one as well. We need we need to double check that. Well, let's see what we got. Accelerating sand glass. Trinket that has agility or strength. Your attacks drain the hourglass, giving your chance to gain 164 haste up to 15 times before the sand runs out. Once the glass is empty, your next offensive ability performs a flurry of accelerated strikes, dealing 2626 physical damage per stack and flipping the hourglass to begin the cycle anew. 421 eye level it says here. But Blizzard already went out with that. That's not the eye level that will happen on the Mega Dungeons. It's not going to be 421. For some reason, they didn't even say what eye level will be, but it's not going to be 421. Okay, so if I would change, let's see here. If I go to Blood DK, it only changes this to strength, but nothing changes in the actual power. Okay, if I go agility, it's only agility changes. Okay, so an hourglass that gives you a chance to gain haste up to 15 times. And then when that is done, it will do a 2k physical damage per stack that you have. And then it's going to start over again. Next one, echoing two stone. So this is a pure intellect trinket. Activate the two stone. It's on use trinket. Recording 30% of your healing done over the next 10 seconds, up to 36,783 healing done, which probably going to be even higher with a higher eye level two minute cooldown whenever you or one of your allies falls below 35 percent health the tear stone will summon an echo of your past self healing them and nearby allies for the stored amount and granting haste until cancelled before the record is lost holy shit that is really cool i have a tear stone 30 percent of your healing for the next 10 seconds whenever you and you, one of your allies falls below 35 percent health it will summon an echo of your past self and heal and also give you haste damn man all right what do we have here another intellect one when you use a trinket borrow power from an alternative timeline for your personal gain increasing your haste by 2394 for 15 seconds and triggering a paradox two minutes later okay you increase haste 15 seconds and then you trigger a paradox two minutes later if the paradox arrives you'll be frozen in time completely unable to act or move for five seconds holy shit killing enemies steals the remaining time partially delay the paradox by 15 seconds with major enemies restoring the timeline completely there are two things number one well actually it answers borrow power from alternative timeline for your personal gain i don't think it has to do with that you actually borrow some power from something i just think it just says like that i think what it actually only will do is increase your haste and by quite a lot for 15 seconds but problem is that you're gonna have a paradox that comes up two minutes later you don't want that paradox you don't want to be frozen in time but you can remove that paradox you first can postpone it so it comes later by killing mobs so that is good let's say you do an m plus dungeon you have this trinket killing mobs will just you know postpone so the paradox won't come you won't be frozen in time for five seconds you know but it also says with major enemies restoring the timeline so if you kill like elites and stuff i guess or a boss major enemy i don't know then it removes it one healing one casting with the bar of power well i mean i guess healers can use this as well because it's, it's 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 a haste trinket a lot of int and haste who doesn't want this trinket so it's a melee trinket a healing trinket a haste trinket for casters then we have mirror fractured tomorrows and this is for everyone it seems like agilities or strength or intellect okay let me just see if it changes if i go something the only thing that changed that changes like look like it's only the primary stat yeah the reason why i'm shaking the power as well is because there is one trinket in 1015 that changes power based on what class and spec you are but this one's just primary stat okay it's a used trinket gaze into mirror depths inviting a version of your future self to fight alongside you for 20 seconds holy shit this is like a monk ability casting spells on your roll in addition you grant yourself 1106 of your highest secondary stat wait so it so it casts spells based on my roll okay does it mirror why does it say mirror trinket when it doesn't actually mirror it casts spells based on my roll so just random casts it would be cool if it mirrored imagine using cooldowns with this trinket but it doesn't look like it you can i mean you can but it doesn't look like it's gonna mirror so it's gonna cast some spells question is how good damage will that do but it will also give you quite a lot of secondary stat man of your highest secondary stat so yeah it's probably like the secondary stats that you like basically that you're going for yeah th this one can be very interesting this one can be very very interesting 
It's a three minute cooldown though. I like two minute trinkets. I don't like three minute trinkets or more. All right, so that was that trinket. That's a cool one. And the last one is prophetic stone scales. Agility or strength. So this is not an unused trinket, it's a proc trinket. Okay, sustaining fatal damage throws you 10 seconds into the past. Okay, so this is a, this is a tanking trinket. Restoring up to 1,412,259 health lost during that time. What do we call these trinkets as a name for it? Sheet death. It's a sheet death trinket. 10 seconds into the past up to that amount of health that you lost during that time the number is pretty high but you know how much how much uh, how much are we dealing with as a that oh, okay it's, it's quite a lot of health we'll see how it looks on live but but still it takes you back 10 seconds and the health that you lost during those 10 seconds that's what you're gonna get back enemies that struck you during that window of time will deal 20 percent less damage to you what the hell in addition to your haste being increased for 12 seconds holy damn how can you do this oh every eight minutes wow man this is a really really cool tanking trinket well there you go it's like slaying the eve again everyone that has sheet death like there you go so if i'm a prot pala i have my own stuff if shit is the fan i'm a bubble i have everything and if i for some reason don't use my bubble or something or you know and actually die i'm not gonna die i need quite a lot of health back 20 percent less damage to me man you know how good that is our event is 30 percent and this gives you 20 percent during that window of time in addition to your haste being increased as well man this is a really cool trinket there we have it we have one melee melee dps trinket we have one casting dps trinket we have one healing trinket we have one tanking trinket and then we have the last one which is the mirror one that everyone can use and the question is how good will this one be it can be really good it can be like uh, it comes down to the numbers what's going to be in the end when when also when the eye level will be proper as well so yeah we shall see when this gets added into the 1015 blood mallet stuff you know see how good this stuff will be but it's cool cool things man cool things